Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create character animation with using Duke Angel in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And first one, select is layer one, and go to solo, and select pen behind icon, move the anchor point down, and layer two. Let's go to solo, and move the anchor point down like this. Again, layer three. Let's enable for solo. And move to here this anchor point and clearization tool let's go to window and open duke angela and select this layer one let's link to layer two select layer two link to layer three and select these three layers and let's click auto rig and click ignore and waiting for rigging okay here we go we have already rig let's select this controller let's see nice and let's unsolo these layers, also these three layers. And let's see again. Okay, and select this wood layer. Let's link to controller and change controller name hand left. Let's see. Okay, that's good. We can move to right this wood a little bit like this. Or let's move to down. And press R, chain rotation. Okay, enough. And let's select this layer 1 for right hand. And go to solo. Move the anchor point to right. Select layer 2. Go to solo. Move the anchor point to right again. And layer 3. Go to solo and move to up this anchor point. Clearization tool. Select layer 1, link to layer 2, select layer 2, link to layer 3. And select the three layers. Go to again, auto rig, click ignore. Okay, select control layer 1, let's see. Okay, very nice. And change name, hand, right. And unsolo layers, let's see. Okay, and select this tablet layer. Let's link to controller hand right. Let's see again. Okay, very nice. And in this time, select this layer body. Go to solo and move the anchor point down. Let's click this again for black background. Clearization tool and unsolo. And select layer 3 and this layer 3. Link to both layers to layer body. Select body, let's see. Nice, we have full already rig in here. Let's press R, we can control rig like this. Okay. And select this head layer, link to also body, and let's zoom in here. Go to solo and move to anchor point like this here. Clearization tool and layer eye white. Let's enable and eyeball. And let's select these and let's click toggle switch mode and go to track mat. Select these eyeball. Let's track mat to eye white and select eye white. Let's enable. Also go to solo. And right now I can move eyeball inside the eye white like this. And select these eye white. Press S. Click this second. And we can change scale for eye blink animation. Let's go to here and create new scale keyframe. Go to three keyframes. For shotgun, you can press page down. One to three, change scale five. Again, three keyframe, one to three, change 100. And make it easy. Let's see. Okay, and select this muff layer, go to solo. And link to head layer. Select this eyeball, link to head layer, select eye white, link to head layer. And eyebrow, let's go to solo and link to head layer. And select head layer, press R, let's see. Nice. And unsolo all of them layers and press R, let's see. Okay, let's go to anchor point, move the anchor point here and chain rotation okay that's good so in this time select these background and foot layers lock layers 
and select his body. Let's create simple animation. And in this time, let's press R, create a rotation two frame, and go to 10 two frames. For go to 10 two frames, you can press Hold Shift, press Space on keyboard, and change this four. And go to five seconds, create new rotation two frame, go to 10 two frame, change minus four. And make it all two frames is easy. Let's see. Okay, for add dynamic animations, go to middle, go to first second, select body, hold shift, press P, and create new person two frame. Go to middle, and let's move the down body a little bit like this. Let's see. Go to next two frame, select first two frame, copy pass, and select middle two frame, move to center, and make it easy. Let's see. Okay, that's good. We have bounce animation with three passing two frames. And select these three two frames, copy and go to here, control V. Nice. And select this controller hand left. And press P. Let's create new passing two frame. Go to here and move to right. Let's move to like this and go to middle, let's move up and make it easy let's preview animation okay, that's good and go to here and next animation, let's create new passing two frame for hand left and go to like this and move to left go to middle and move up and select work area, preview animation. Nice. And select this hand right. Go to here and press P, create new passing two frame. Go to five two frames and move to down like this. Make it two frames easy. And preview animation. And move to left these two frames. Okay, go to five two frames. Let's move up a little bit. And here, let's create new passing two frame again. Go to five two frames. And move to like this. Okay, and let's hold shift, press R, open the rotation. And here, let's create rotation two frame. And go to next two frame, chain rotation like this and make it easy and here let's change like this little bit and let's create new rotation two frame go to next two frame chain rotation like this okay not bad and close these settings select this eye white press U and let's see Okay, let's move to right these two frames. Let's copy. Go to here, Control V, and here again, Control V. And select this eyeball. Let's zoom in to eye layers. And press P. Let's create new passing two frame. Go to two two frames. Let's move to down like this. Okay, create new passing two frame. Go to two two frames. Move to like this. And make it two frames easy. Let's select last two frames, move to here. And create new passing two frame, go to two two frames, move to center. And here let's create new passing two frame, go to two two frames. And first two frame copy pass. Nice. And select this muff layer, press S. And let's create talking animation. Let's click this icon, create scale two frame, go to three two frames, and change scale like this, go to three two frames again, change like this, 
for random lips animation. And select keyframes, make it easy. Let's see. And let's copy keyframes, control V for paste keyframes. And right now, select this eyebrow and press P, create new passing keyframes. Go to three keyframes, one to three. Move to up. Let's see. Move to right. And here, let's create new passing keyframe. Go to like this and move to up these eyebrows. And next keyframe, let's create new passing keyframe. And go to here, change to down like this. And make it easy. Nice. Select this head layer, press R. And here, let's create new rotation keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes, chain rotation like this. Make it easy. And here, let's create new rotation. Go 10 keyframes, chain like this. And right now, create new rotation. Go 10 keyframes, chain zero. Or let's change to minus six. Okay, this more dynamic character animation. I like it. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.